Hello again, new project. Let me try to fix some AB amplifiers. You know, AB868, like this. Okay, they've been exposed accidentally to 12 volts instead of 5. The first things I've, uh, I've done, of course, it was to measure the input. And like you see, for this one, I found this transistor, which is connected to the plus in short and we can see that very clear that it's around here we are 21 ohms this transistor it's place it here in the very beginning of the power supply chain okay luckily i have some boards some extra boards there's been uh, ab's for uh, some other frequencies and i was just replaced the transistor now let's power it on and let's see if it's doing anything of course when i uh, measured the connection after the transistor let's see this one and this one we have 4.1 kilo ohms this is perfect that's exactly how much it should be uh, okay this is not open it up but anyway at the input of the amplifier as you can see we should have around 1 mega ohms on a good one okay this one was fixed and we have yeah it's a capacitor and it's going up 800 900 okay so it's perfect so i replace that transistor now let me have the power on and yes it's working but point is now let's see, we have LX for sure, we can see the diode, it's working, we're gonna make a check later with the nano VNA. From my experience, when I apply a voltage here, the amplifier should go on TX, so we should have the we should have the blue light lighting on. We have a dead short there. My uh, k weight KM601, it's on diode mode. So I have a plus and minus voltage here. Now we should see the blue LED lighting. Of course, we don't. So let's go back to ohmmeter. And let me check this big fellow here. This is a power amplifier. And look there, we have a one ohm shorted transistor. And we should have around, okay, counting going up like 4.7 mega ohms. Yeah. So this is a very shorted one, very clear shorted, right. Okay, I will replace that one and then we'll see if the amplifier is going on the X. Okay, not a very good job, <laughs> but I hope the transistor is still okay. I should use hot air, all right really bad but it's done already so let's fix okay we are good there the spin down here it's perfect now let's see okay so this pin is going to this capacitor right here okay and this one is going to this coil all right let's do that very nice perfect okay Let's power on. Meter in diode mode. And let's apply that voltage up here in this point. And we should have the blue one. And we have the blue one running. Yes, people, this is a fixed amplifier. All I have to do now is to have a test with the nano VNA and uh, I'm pretty sure that everything is fine. 
so far are these two transistors this is a power uh, RF power transistor amplifier uh, it's not ZPF5189 I heard somebody say that no it's some other kind of stuff at least on this one here it's saying uh, 3Z something anyway so we'll talk about this uh, in some other parts for now this one it's a fix so once again it was this input transistor here and the other one over here I don't know if it's a transistor or if it's a uh, IC or something but it feels like a power regulator or something anyway so if you want to have this uh, RX TX commuting it's very simple meter on uh, diode mode and with minus on the ground you just touch this point here and it's going on TX okay that's it for today I'll be back with the tests and uh, hopefully it's useful like usually you know please like subscribe and uh, if you have any comments please let me know I'll be around to answer until the next time have some fun bye bye